this is a coal mine. It's unsightly, unnatural, particularly disreputable when considering the environment, the ecology, and the climate. For that reason, or should I say for all those reasons, doesn't make a very typical subject for a landscape photograph. So I've been offered a, an assignment on commission to come out and make a series of photographs featuring this coal mine as a birthday gift for a coal miner. Uh, I think this project will probably take a couple of weeks and uh, the video I know definitely won't be on YouTube for at least a month because we don't want to spoil the surprise for the coal miner. But uh, I want to talk about the complexity of photographing features like this as part of the landscape, especially as part of our Midwest landscape and our Midwest history. Um, and I want to sort of take a nuanced approach that both that, that doesn't necessarily uh, glorify this feature, but also sort of takes into account the, uh, the, the historical significance of mining to this area. Today, I'm not really here to make photographs. I'm just here to take some test photos from different locations that I'll send to my client uh, to give them some ideas of what's possible with this location. So why don't we have a little trip around the mine and just see what it looks like. Okay, today is day two at the coal mine. Yesterday was the first day. I stayed pretty well until it got too dark to do much shooting. And I also stayed to do a little bit of night shots. One of the cool things about the coal mine is that it's uh, really lit up with lights at night. You know, actually a lot of times I passed by on this highway at night and thought that would be a cool thing to shoot. But I, you know, I struggle with how to contextualize the idea of the coal mine within the landscape. And that's something that I, I talked about a little bit uh, to the camera yesterday and, and uh, again, something that I'd like to talk about more in depth later. And I've actually come back a little bit earlier than what would be a typical evening shooting time for me because uh, the full moon or the nearly full moon is just about to rise. And I used an app on my phone to sort of uh, coordinate my location with where the moon is supposed to rise behind some of the figures in the uh, mine. So it looks like I need to be heading uh, a little more this way. I think I can get a little closer and see how big I can uh, foreground the moon behind a couple of the elevators. Those moon shots went really quickly. I think I got a couple okay ones, but you know, moonrise is always are such a, a frantic, a frantic evolution. Like you never know, even with like the app, I feel like I, you never know exactly where the moon's gonna appear. And, and today, as is pretty common, there was like a, a bank of haze on the horizon. So uh, even after the moon was up, I couldn't quite see where it was until it was just barely visible. So I'm here at a different location. This is like on the outskirts of a local town and I uh, found some good uh, vantage points here to do some telephoto work. And I think maybe even out in this cornfield are gonna be some good spots to sort of drop the tripod and I'll test those out now. I think they'll be, I think they'll be better sunrise spots, but uh, I'm gonna scout them out now. To give you a sense of where I am, um, I've only been home from Scotland for uh, just a little over a week, uh, 10, 11 days. So uh, yeah, just totally like hitting the ground running with this project. Um, but also it's like, a, just as like a mental note for myself, it's, it's very surreal still to be sort of uh, surrounded by all this American scenery, uh, this cornfield, these old hardwood trees, the coal mine, of course, um, but also uh, feels great to have access to my full complement of photography gear. So I'm gonna set out on this cornfield with my tripod and see what I can scope out.
So this is pretty good. I've got a, uh, an interesting and unique and somewhat unusual vantage point to the mine, which is good um, when I consider that this is gonna be a gift to someone who sees this mine every day. This might be uh, a good way for them to experience it in a way they haven't thought of it before through my photography. So I like that. Um, also, they've turned on the lights to the mine now, as you can see. So like I said, that's one of the ways that I've wanted to be sure to capture it. And also, um, uh, as it's getting uh, later into the night, um, I can just stop down and maybe get some uh, uh, some trails from the cars passing through on the highway um, without having to use any filters. So we'll play around with some stuff like that. And uh, maybe most importantly, I'll consider whether this is a vantage point that I want to visit uh, during some sunrise locations because in the morning the sun will be rising behind the mine from this vantage. One of the things I'm really enjoying about this mine is that for an industrial area, it's surprisingly open to access. So I haven't had any trouble at all pulling off into the road, even walking on some of the properties to get the shots that I need. Um, and hopefully if anyone does have a problem with it, they would be friendly toward my cause. So to transfer the coal from one side of the plant to the other, they've uh, had to build this overpass and there are lots of trucks crossing back and forth. So my original idea was just to drive onto that section of the road and try to take a photo out of the car. But I'm really trying to work in wide angle this morning and it's, it's very hard to get good wide angle photos from inside a car. So considering the access that I have, uh, I'm just gonna walk up and try and get the photo on foot. Okay, well, I was able to get some interesting shots back there. Uh, pretty exciting to be working at wide angle. I don't get to do that uh, here in rural America very often. So having this big, expansive photo subject is, is pretty exciting uh, and it's the perfect day for it. And I think uh, having these wide angle shots to supplement the telephoto stuff that I did the other night will give a uh, really good variety of, of weather, of light, of color, and now also of perspectives of this scene. Forgive the noise, but we're very busy this morning here at the coal mine. It's about five minutes till sunrise. And I'm here on the very last day that I have to work on the project, so um, I wanted to get some strong sunrise images. I don't really uh, have any of that collected yet, and um, uh, try to get the photos edited this evening and get them out to my client. So she's got a couple weeks uh, both to decide between what photos she might want and also to make sure we've got plenty of time to get them printed so that they're uh, all packaged up and ready to give to her husband for his birthday. Um, so I've got a little spot uh, here uh, in the field ahead of me picked out where I'm going to get a, try and get a little closer, um, closer angle in the perspective that I got over there when I was shooting all those nightscapes a couple weeks earlier. trespassing but I hate getting caught so we did get a decent sunrise this morning uh, the camera will let you see it um, I was all out here on this property uh, got some really good close perspectives that I haven't been able to get before I'll show you the results of what I captured while I was out there right after this quick discussion I met a genius by Charles Bukowski. I met a genius on the train today, about six years old. He sat beside me and as the train ran down along the coast, we came to the ocean. And then he looked at me and said, it's not pretty. 
It was the first time I'd realized that. What better words to guide our controversial contemplation into what's beautiful and what's ugly, what's pretty and not pretty, what's deserving and undeserving of attention in the American landscape than those of this controversial American poet. Like I suspect a lot of you uh, might have been, I was hesitant to accept this commission because of the way that subject matter like this is viewed within the landscape photography genre. So an industrial feature like a coal mine in popular landscape photography, I think is typically viewed in like one of two ways. Um, so you've got photographers who are sort of like obsessed with beauty and form, and sometimes this is my school of photography, uh, for whom uh, the, something like a coal mine is just not beautiful enough for the landscape or for the photograph. And then there's like another school of photographers who sort of are seeking to sort of say more through the image. And unfortunately, I think too often, uh, all we found to express through the image is uh, messages on the environmental topic. I think these photographers sometimes are too afraid to overly emphasize or exaggerate uh, environmental features in the landscape, or in other words, uh, to glorify or aggrandize them, right? So for these people, something for like a coal mine might be too beautiful. So ironically, even though these industrial features dominate the Midwestern American landscape, they're very seldom seen or featured in our photographs. This is something I've given a lot of thought about and I'm sort of unsatisfied with that marginalization of this subject matter, constantly trying to frame the photograph around it, Photoshop it out, etc. My grandpa was a coal miner. My great grandpa was a coal miner. Like I understand that our relationship to these features are complex. Mining and other industries uh, have sort of left a, a complex imprint on our families, our communities, and our environment. And considering that, I felt like I uniquely had maybe something to offer or to say, or maybe that I was uniquely willing to make an inquiry into this uh, rather than try to oversimplify the topic the way it often is in the conversation of the landscape photography genre. I think this is a topic that can benefit from a proper treatment by the arts uh, with pathos, um, with commiseration, and um, with some real genuine creativity. So fittingly, what I'd like to say on this topic is comprehensive and complex, and it sort of exceeds the scope of what I can really accomplish with this small commission, but uh, I'd be very satisfied to take on the work over the next a couple years or a few years as a personal project to um, find new and innovative and expressive and exploratory ways to uh, feature these very meaningful and very uh, impactful uh, features and integrate them in a more uh, truthful and honest way into the landscape. So obviously this video will publish after my client has received these images. So uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just sign off here. I'm gonna show you all the photos that I made over the course of this month long project. Um, and then I'll have a, a chance at the end to show you which ones that she selected to display in their home to motivate her husband uh, to get out and do that hard dirty work of mining this coal that keeps our lives powered and going. And um, if it's possible, I'll try to arrange it so that I can get some photos or videos of the uh, installation as well. So uh, until I see you guys next time, uh, enjoy the photos and uh, you keep an eye out and a foot forward and thanks for watching.